we welcome you to our morning prayer this Wednesday morning, <coughs> excuse me, the 14th of August. Let us begin by just spending a minute or two just in the presence of Gaia, in the presence of our Earth's Mother, and let us allow her touch us because so many of us live and lead busy lives let us just be still for the next 15 or 20 minutes and receive her healing touch be aware of her love for you and as we gather around this table of love we light a candle to the supreme to the Creator, Father, Mother, God, who has given to you and me the gift of new life. Let us be still. Let us embrace all that we are as a child of God. And just relax now. And we begin our every morning with the wonderful prologue <clears throat> of our brother and sister scenes of Mount Sinai. And Wednesday morning we say we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother, and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure, and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and the sisterhood of the elect. Wednesday morning we commune with the angel of the sun saying angel of the sun enter my solar center and give the fire of life to my entire body. As these words are spoken, we contemplate the rising sun and experience the accumulated solar energies radiating through your solar center, located at the solar plexus, sending healing life force energy. Let us be still. Let us be still. Let us be aware that we are loved. Father, Mother, God, we come as your children, though unworthy we may be, we gather around this table of love to name the problem, to bless our problems, and to raise them up to your mystical heart, so that you will free us from our burden, and we thank you, in the presence of the company of heaven, in the presence of the messengers of God, from all faiths and none, we come we come. Speak to our hearts. Speak to that inner spirit and help us be still, relax, and discern what are you saying to us this new day. poor man in distress is very much Psalm 85 and 
and I would like to share it with you now. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord. For to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love, full of love. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of my distress I will surely call and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come and adore you and glorify your name, O Lord God. For you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way so that I may walk in your paths and in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. Will give your strength to your servant and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor that my foes may see to their shame that you console me and give me your help. What beautiful words! What are they saying to you? What do you feel in your heart when you read, when you listen and discern? What is the Spirit of God trying to say to you and me this new day? Let us listen just for a moment.
presence of God. Let us be still. And interestingly, from the wonderful little book I published in 2005, Sacred Inspirations is a collection of all the sayings, quotes, reflections, hymns, messages from the realm, and I'm guided to read it to you, some of. In the circle of God's love, God is waiting to use your full potential. God wants spiritual fruit, not religious nuts. Dear God, I have a problem, it's me. Growing old is inevitable, growing up is optional. There is no key to happiness, the door is always open. Silence is often misinterpreted, but never misquoted. Do the maths, count your blessings. Faith is the ability to not panic. Laugh every day, it's like inner jogging. If you worry, you didn't pray. If you pray, don't worry. As a child of God, prayer is kind of like calling home every day. Blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be bent out of shape. The most important thing in your house are the people. When we get tangled up in our problems, be still. God wants us to be still so he can untangle the knot. A grudge is a heavy burden to carry. He who dies with the most toys is still dead. And there's a beautiful sharing on about God's love. We call it mercy. It is God's forgiving love. We call it providence. It is God's caring love. We call it Christ's passion and death. It is God's proven love. We call it happiness. It is God's encouraging love. We call it the will of God. It is God's unerring love. We call it heaven. It is God's rewarding love. We call it eternity. It is God's unending love. Beautiful. And now I want to read to you what one of our students who was doing the diploma course here just after Sister Jan and she shared this that I put in this little book. I will be the wind in your hair face, the fire in your heart, 
the water in your tears, the earth beneath your feet. Blessed be the heart that beats with mine, from the dawn of day until the end of time. Blessed be the soul that walks with me, that breathes with the flower, the rain and the tree. Blessed be those who join hand in hand to bring love to the heart and light to the land. Blessed be those who return to me for your answer, sorry, for your search is over. I will set you free. Be grounded, centered in the moment. Questions should be simple. How can I be open to your voice? Grounding is necessary because of the world we live in. Collect and stabilize your energies. Light, calmer, united with me, all that I am. Barbara Blakeman. And there's another one here under a beautiful picture of Chapel Gap. In rediscovering who you truly are, then you discover that within your being there is a divine glow that pervades your very soul, empowering you fall in love with Source, your first love. That was one of the quotes I was given in prayer. But the one that really touched my heart was one next to Brother Rob and I on a swing. And it's here we say, Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. Come bow before Him now with reverence. Be still, for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor he is crowned. How awesome is this sight, our radiant King of Light. Be still, for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. Be still, for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. He comes to cleanse and heal to minister his grace. No work too hard for him, in faith receive from him. Be still for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. And that was by Dave Evans, 1957. And to conclude, Isaiah 58 verse 9 says, you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here I am. And all of these are in this beautiful book, Sacred Inspirations. Wow. Let us bring all our requests now for the Lord has spoken to us and he has said that when we call on him, he will hear us. Well, now let us bring our requests and our intentions. And for those not logged in, just sit quietly. And whatever comes up for you, name it, bless it, release it. Let us pray, Sister Jan has put all who need healing. Well, yes, healing of mind, body and spirit. Let us remember our servicemen and women who come back from Afghanistan. I know Brother Rob administer, administers to Safa in a voluntary capacity, both as chaplain and as counselor. And he has shared with me some pretty horrendous stories of young men and women who've come home and the demons they are fighting now are bigger than the demons they had to fight or face in Afghanistan. So let us remember our young servicemen and women who are struggling to cope in Sivvy Street. 
we have a duty of care to them. But sadly, many miss the radar. They're not picked up and many become suicidal and some take their own life. So we hold all our young servicemen and women. And yes, we pray for dear brother Rob and Sean. Thank you, Jan. We pray all to do God's will, very important. And Jan has asked for the Teo community past and present. Yes, because a community that says it loves God, embraces all its members, past and present, whether they've hurt you or not. You put aside your differences, your hurts and your pain, and you forgive and move on. But we pray today for young girls and young women, particularly in Afghanistan and Pakistan, and possibly throughout the Islamic world, many of whom are denied their basic rights to education. Let us hold Malala, this amazing young woman who was almost killed, who is an ambassador of change for change. Let us pray for our religious leaders and for our Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Let us pray today for all who are afraid to ask God for help. Let us be still now. And let us pray for all the members of Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace. We have 135 beautiful members. Let us remember them. We pray for our presenters on live stream for our two beautiful channels. They are a gift from our heart to God. Let us bring all our requests. Before a loving God, through Gaia, our Earth Mother, through the divine feminine aspect of God, Isis, Kuan Yin, Magdalena, Mother Mary, through all of the Ascended Masters. And now, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is Heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need today feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another forgive us. In times of temptation and tests, strengthen us. From the trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. Let us be still now and let us just bring our thoughts to God. And instead of a closing prayer, I'm going to play this for you by Charles Lansborough, Who Is This Man?
hears this man What does he want? Why won't he let me be? Look at his face Look in his eyes There's nothing he can see He knows my past He sees my every thought And yet for all my sins He died and bought me free To live among the poor To share our lives Of rags and dust To open heaven's door He's ready to forgive us. Who is this man who rules the star and yet will walk with me? Take my hand and lead the way into eternity. The precious gift of life he came. That we may live forever Who is this man? Who is this man? Who is this man? Beautiful. Who is this man? I wish you a beautiful day. Namaste. Shalom, inshallah, pakset bonam. Om shanti. Solo di caritas. Salakum laikum. Peace. Enjoy. Enjoy this day. It's God's free gift to us. Let us rise up, let us be strong and become ambassadors for peace. God bless you and thank you for joining me. Please hold me in your prayer.